Thank you so much, Madam Chair Healy, members of the House Rules and Executive Nominations Committee on behalf of CARE, America's largest Muslim civil rights and advocacy organization. I thank you for this opportunity to testify in strong support of House Joint Resolution 2. For 150 days and 75 years, the world has witnessed unspeakable atrocities and war crimes in Gaza, funded by billions of US tax dollars. I won't say the numbers of the Palestinians who are killed because we know that number is never accurate. We know the actual number is much higher because there are still bodies under the rubble that have never been recovered. There is currently no safe zone in Gaza. Both the United Nations highest court, the International Court of Justice, and, the U and a U.S. District Court have declared the plausibility of genocide in this decades-long besieged strip of land. When House Speaker Adrian Jones announced the decency agenda at the beginning of this session, it was very welcome news because decency requires that we acknowledge the sanctity of human life. It demands that we embody moral courage, that we use our platforms and our power and our privilege for those who are oppressed and that we stand for justice. Ceasefire is a local issue. It's impacting thousands of your constituents, including many whose loved ones have been killed by Israeli forces in recent weeks. The urgency of this moment cannot be overstated. A ceasefire yesterday would have protected hundreds of lives innocent, of innocent people yesterday or killed today. A ceasefire today would help protect hundreds of innocent children from being killed tomorrow. Subjecting Gaza's entire population to relentless sadistic violence and suffering is unconscionable, immoral, and inhumane. We can't unsee the horrors that we've witnessed. Collective punishment should never be acceptable. We would never fathom bombing a school full of children in order to take out a school shooter. And the fact is that the only time hostages have been safely released was doing a ceasefire. Nearly 70% of Americans support the U.S. calling for an immediate permanent ceasefire. Howard and Anne Arundel counties have joined at least 66 members of Congress, including Congress members Jamie Raskin, Kwasi Mfumi, and David Trone, dozens of U.S. cities and counties in calling for a ceasefire to end the violence and bloodshed. The state of Maryland has an opportunity this session to be a global beacon of compassion, morality, and courage. This assembly rightfully and unanimously passed the resolution supporting Ukraine. Thank you very much for your testimony. We urge you respectfully to please pass this resolution as well. Thank you. Thank you very much for your testimony. Uh, at, at this time, as I, I said.